What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Maps Exposed. This is the series where I share all of the lines of sight, as well as any other secret spots that I know of on every map in COD World War II. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the second of the Resistance DLC maps, and this is Anthropoid. First up, I have a couple great lines of sight to counter the people that are in the areas over there. Those can be very powerful positions, especially in a game mode like Domination, where you're forced to go into the middle of the map here to capture the B flag. The first one I have for you guys is on top of the barrels from over here. When you jump up on top of these barrels right here, and actually on top of this railing right here as well, uh, you actually get a great line of sight into that area right there. So that particular area, that's an easy way to pick those people off. They're not normally looking back this far. And the second little line of sight I have for you guys is through this area right here. This one's more so just for a sniper rifle, but as you can see, you can see that little area right there. So if they happen to pass through there, you can easily pick them off, or you can even jump shot and potentially pick them off through there. Next up, when I'm coming up these stairs right here and I'm trying to challenge people that are on that side, this is great for domination when you're trying to get to the B flag or just any other mode where you're approaching the middle of the map. I personally like approaching from this area right here. I like to jump up on this area like this and you can easily challenge people that are across there. You have great cover with this. And if you get up to this position here, you can crouch to take cover, stand up, you get a great line of sight on that guy. Another thing you can do is as you're coming up the stairs here, I like to hop up here sometimes and have a peek towards people this way. This is just much better than wrapping around and exposing your whole body. Now, just in case you guys haven't noticed, in Domination, you can actually capture the flag from right here, and this just helps you avoid a lot of that nade damage. Now, down on the docks here in the middle of the map, if you have enemies that are up in that area there, a lot of times they'll be able to pick you off really, really easily because you don't have too much to use for cover here. That is until you jump on top of these barrels here, and then you've got excellent cover. You can easily crouch to take complete cover from them, stand up, and you got a great line of sight on them. Now from the middle of the map here, if you're in this situation here and you're trying to challenge people that are across that way there, what a lot of people don't know is you can actually shoot through this wood and you don't really lose too much bullet damage at all. So what I like to do sometimes is I get myself on target, I start shooting my enemy and then I strafe into cover and I just keep firing through the wood in the same spot that I was shooting at before. Oftentimes you'll be able to finish off your kill and they'll stop shooting at you because you went behind cover. Now, if you're approaching this side of the map here and you have enemies that are coming out of that C spawn up at the top of the stairs, sometimes they'll camp up there and they have the height advantage. So it can be really difficult to challenge them and, and make your way up the street there without getting picked off. What I like to do to challenge those people or just as a check spot is mantle up right here. And there you go. Great line of sight on those people. Once again, you can crouch to take cover, stand up. Great line of sight on the people on top of the stairs. Now, if you're up in this area here, but the enemies are still on this side of the map, a great thing I like to do, this is if I'm like pushing their spawns over in that area there, is if you mantle up on the sandbags right here, you can actually use this for cover right here. This is very, very effective for picking those people off as they come through there. Obviously, you wanna make sure the middle of the map is secured by your teammates. This is more so those situations where you've really got the enemies pushed back towards their spawn. A similar line of sight, this one isn't quite as effective because you run into fewer situations where this is effective, but you can do it on this side as well and just kind of look over top of the barrels here. Now the final thing we're going to be talking about today is the water on the map. So you can actually go in the water if you crouch, you can actually swim a little bit, it's not like it's deep water or anything. And honestly, it's not the most helpful thing. The only thing that I've noticed here that could be maybe somewhat helpful is if you're challenging people there, you can actually swim underneath this boat right here. So you might be able to just take somebody by surprise when you go under the water over there. They might not know that you can once again pop up over in this area here. Super situation dependent. Honestly, I don't think I'll ever use that, but I just want to let you guys know that you can in fact swim underneath that boat. Also, I wanted to point out with the water, if you go prone in the water or you're swimming in the water, it does count as a puncture kill for enemy players, but based on my testing, it doesn't reduce the number of shots it takes to kill, at least on average. It's not going to make it so you can soak up extra bullet damage by going underwater and swimming. Now, one last thing I want to point out with the water is it doesn't break your fall like you might expect. It's the same as landing on the ground here. So if you were to do a dolphin dive into the water, for instance, you will still die. It doesn't break your fall. I thought maybe you could use that to your advantage, but it turns out you will still die to fall damage in the water. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's episode on Anthropoid. Even though it's a pretty large map, they've done a very good job at cutting off a lot of the lines of sight that would be really creative and stuff. They've done an excellent job at blocking those off, so there wasn't a whole lot to share for you guys today. As always, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of this map? Personally, I actually like it quite a bit because it's a nice change of pace from the regular Call of Duty World War II maps. I feel like it just gives you a bit more room to breathe. We have one more map to cover with the Resistance DLC, and this is Occupation. We'll be covering that one next. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.